Hello, in this video we're going to go over um, how to use uh, T-Shark, um, the terminal version of Wireshark. Um, this is just going to be a brief introduction in how to get started and uh, get going with the simple commands of T-Shark. So, first thing we need to do is obviously get T-Shark. So, uh, go to wireshark.org and go to their download section. Uh, choose the appropriate installer and you should um, be able to um, uh, install that. Um, there'll be a, there'll be an option window displayed asking um, if you want T-Shark uh, installed. Uh, click yes. Um, I believe it's set to yes as default so um, no worries there but um, if you're given the option uh, do choose um, do choose to install T Shark. Once you've completed the installer, you need to go to um, need to go to uh, your C drive, and then you scroll down to um, you scroll down to program files, and then into uh, Wireshark down at the bottom there. So now we're in the Wireshark folder. Um, so there's two ways to proceed. We need we need to be able to have full access of the folder. So um, one way is to run a, ter a terminal window as an administrator, or the other way is to uh, allow access, um, complete access to the Wireshark folder uh, for all your um, for for everything. Uh, so the computer has full full access to the uh, Wireshark folder. Uh, the reason is that uh, Windows doesn't particularly like, and I suppose most operating systems don't like you messing about with the program files, but um, again, we're not going to be doing any manipulation. We're just simply running T Shark from its uh, location here. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a terminal window as administrator. So we're going to make command prompt um, and then select run as administrator there'll be a pop-up saying uh, would you like to allow this and then you click yes um, okay so um, we need to copy this file path uh, so we can navigate to our um, to our uh, uh, Wireshark folder and to um, change directly it's change direct directory it's a CD and then the the path so now we're in the Wireshark folder, and that's great. We're now set up to use T, T Shark. So, um, the first thing we need to do is determine what adapters, uh, network adapters, we have on our computer. So I have a laptop which um, doesn't have an Ethernet port. So. Uh, I'll be using Wi-Fi for this tutorial, um, but. Um, for for um, those using Ethernet, um, the the process is exactly the same. So, first we need to determine what we have, um, what we what network devices we have. So, I you always start a T Shark command with T Shark, and then we um, begin choosing what op operations we want to do. So the first thing I advise you to run is dash D. This will give you your device list or your network adapter list. And as you can see, I have nine adapters there, um, uh, and um, I'm going to choose uh, the second one, uh, which is Wi-Fi. Now you can um, select them by name or by number. I like doing it by number simply because it's quicker um, to do. So once you've chosen the um, the adapter you want to use, um, whether that be using your Ethernet port or your Wi-Fi. Um, the next thing um, I want you to do, we, we, we can do is now capture packets because we now know what uh, interface or device we're using. Um, so we're going to execute um, another command. So we start with T-Shark and I'm gonna do dash I and then select the number corresponding to your particular um, uh, device stroke interface you want to use. So I'm gonna use two, which is the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna press that. And now 
where we'll begin capturing packets on my Wi-Fi network. And of course, you use Ethernet, you use, you, you use the appropriate number. Um, so now we're capturing, and this will go on indefinitely. Uh, so that's not great. So what we really want to do is just do um, Control C to escape out of that. Um, but as you can see, uh, T-Shark has worked and has picked up some packets, which is great. So how do we stop this infinite loop? Well, not yeah, infinite loop. Um, we uh, use things called capture conditions. So there's two types. We can have a packet count and we can have an auto stop. Um, so let, let me show you packet count first. So we select our interface again. So dash I and then two and then our dash C stands for packet count. And then you put a number of packets you want to capture. So let's say I want 15 packets. Uh, no more, no less. It will, uh, I'm going to press enter. It will um, capture. There we go. Uh, 15 packets. That's great. Uh, and it ends automatically. You don't have to control C out of it. Um, we can also do um, auto stops. So that is more, that's more of a finer control over the stop. So we can do dash I2, T shark dash I2, and then dash A for auto stop. And then there's a couple of different parameters um, you can choose. Uh, you can again use uh, packets, um, although I would advise using dash C for packet count. Uh, but we could have it based on time. So we could do duration, semicolon, and then the time in seconds. We want the, 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 um, the the sniff the packet sniff to go on for so let's say we want 10 seconds um we can do that um so now it will capture as many packets as it can in 10 seconds um so we'll let that run there we go 37 packets in 10 seconds um we can also do it by file size um so that would be whenever we're writing writing to a file, but we won't do that just yet. Um, the last thing I want to do based on um, actually sniffing the packets is um, permis permiscuous mode. So right now we're on permiscuous mode where um, any and all packets we received, we receive are displayed. Um, which is fine, um, but we can make it so that only the packets that are addressed to us appear on the on the trace. So we could have um, T shark dash I dash C at five. So we're gonna say we only want five packets, but this time we're turning off promiscuous mode. So we're only going to get packets that um, we're only gonna see packets that are addressed specifically to this machine. So to, uh, more specifically to to this interface. So um, yeah, so we'll run this now. I'll just make sure there's no yeah, there's an extra space there. So that it's uh, promiscuous mode is 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 on by default. Um, but if you do dash p, that turns it off. So there we go. There's there's five packets that were addressed specifically to us there, um, which we've received. Um. So yeah, so that's all to do with um, uh capturing the packets now um, now we're gonna do um, writing files so um, we can do uh, T shark um, dash I2 um, dash uh, oh no we'll not do hmm. yeah we'll do writing files now so we'll do um, T shark I2 and then um, write files. So that will be dash W and then our file name. So that can be, say, for example, um, example one dot pcap or whatever file format you want. And then we'll have our dash F, um, capital F this time. Um, You'll see why we need capital F instead of lowercase f in a second. 
Um, but dash F stands for file format and just assures that we're going to be uh, processing it as a PCAP file. Um, and then uh, we obviously need, I need to stop this, so I'll say uh, 10 packets, please. Okay, so we'll run this now. And as you can see, if we're, we're saving to a uh, file, it doesn't actually appear in our console. It just comes up with a count there. And now that's saved to our directory, which will be the Wireshark folder. Um, in fact, we can see that now uh, if we go into Wireshark and then um, scroll down to example one. There's our packet file and we can open this with Wireshark um, by default and as you can see there's our 10 packets we captured there. Um, okay so um, I'll show you the, all the file formats uh, that you can use. Um, there we go. So these are all the file formats that T-Shark supports um, here so you can choose which one you want to use. Um, the next thing is filters. Now, filters could be their own videos, so I'm not going to actually go into too much depth with them. I'm just going to show you a very simple filter, just so you understand what operator to use for a filter. So, let's say, for example, we want to go use the Wi-Fi, we want 10 packets, and um, we only want... Um, we only want uh, packets that are coming in addressed to um, port 80. So we'll do dash lowercase f, lowercase f standing for filter, whilst uppercase stands for fa file format. So remember it's lowercase f for filters. And then we'll do speech marks and we'll say TCP port 80. And then that's it. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, we're now going to await, um, we're now only going to, uh, it's only going to show up uh, packets addressed to port 80. So uh, this might take a little while because um, again uh, it's only packets addressed to port 80 and I'm not running any sort of HTTP requests here so um, perhaps if I sort of refresh this perhaps that might um, speed things along. Nope, I guess not. Okay, well, um, oh well, it's it'll it, it's fine. Uh, just know that it works. Um, but yeah, so I'll control C out of that. Um, but yes, that's just a very 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 simple uh, filter there. Um, which um, yeah, so filters could be their own videos. So I I will probably make a probably make another video on those um, then read files so we can also read files so t shark dash r and then um, our file name I think example one dot pcap I think there we go and as you can see we've um, done our uh, we've read the packet the packet file that we made previously um, there it is uh, so that's how you read a file in T-Shark and then um, if we want say um, some stats um, stats could be their own video as well but um, the stats operator is dash Z so if we want to do dash R you have to be reading a file I don't think they'll don't think stats work um, when you're live capturing, so it has to be read from a file. So dash r um, example one dot pcap, and then dash z, um, and then we're gonna do a conversation list for the IP. So we'll do dash z conv comma IP. There we go. So um, that'll produce. Uh, this here so we'll read it out again and then it'll show us um, some stats or IP4 V4 conversations there um, again stats could be their own video but I was just showing you um, some nifty uh, uh, you know uh, the the most basic uh, commands here and um, 
yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, again, this is just a brief overview of um, T Shark. Um, yeah, when I was doing this, I had a great deal of difficulty because I, because in, initially the T Shark will default to using the very first um, interface, which would be this uh, like USB uh, port, which I, I don't use. So. Um, or local area connector. I don't don't really know what that is. So uh, that's why um, it uh, didn't work for me. Uh, but whenever I swapped over to the Wi-Fi, it worked. Um, but yes, that's just a brief overview of um, T Shark. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I'll probably make uh, another video maybe on um, filters and also stats um, because I think those are quite important. Um, and there's also different ways of sort of reading files as well, which might deserve its own uh, sort of video there. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I probably should show you um, the, the, the other um, auto stop. I, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Uh, so if we do, let's see, can we do dash w example what, uh, two dot pcap? Um, and then uh, dash A and then we can do instead of duration we could do file size and then a number so this will this number is in kilobits so one kilobyte of data um, so when when the file exceeds that that size it will stop um, the, the capture um, so if I run that now um, Oh no! I didn't specify the 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 i the interface. It'll default to the first one, as I was saying there. Um, so I'll do that again. Oh, and I forgot T Shark. It's always important to put the T Shark uh, in there. So example two dot pcap pcap, and then dash a file size dash one kilobyte. Yes, so let's 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 try that. Um, yeah, so it'll uh, it'll capture up to the limit of um, the the size, so it'll be one kilobyte. And if we go go into our folder here, example two, well, it's ex it's um, what was our file? So it was one, but it exceeded um, it exceeded that um, slightly. Uh, but I think it's it's done based on um, it's done based upon um, as soon as it hits the kilo, the one kilobyte limit it'll it'll shut down. But sometimes packets get through that. Uh, it just depends. It's very dynamic, uh, sort of a live thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's um, all of the basic operators for T Shark explained very briefly there. Um, thanks for watching, uh, goodbye.